subscribe for the very latest. Bye, Daddy. Courtroom. More than a podcast. Um, let me see what else we got. Well, I, I, I had something else. Um, let me see. All right. So, all right. So, I was going to do five on five. I don't think we got time for five on five. Um, but I do got a question, and this came up in a conversation that I had with somebody. And it has to do with your relationships with people, right? Like men and women. Now, we're all, we've all had wives or married, been in serious relationships. When you get in, so before you get in, in a serious relationship, though, you probably had some good female friends or just friends, male friends, right? Like friends that you, that you, um, that you really care about. When you get married, do you automatically cut them off? If, if, if like, is, is, is it, is it, is it, do you just cut them off or is the situation where you 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 were able to that keep them because there there's certain certain situations in certain situations right women or men may feel uncomfortable with you having certain friends you know they might if it's a male friend they might look at them as like somebody who's a bad influence but you've been right you've been riding down with this person You've been with this person day one. Y'all have been through so many things, life-changing things. But then you meet somebody and you get married. But your wife or your or your husband says, you know what? Hey, I don't feel comfortable with that person. I think we gotta let him go. Do you let him go? Is that is that is that or do we like what do you do? What do you do? Y'all, y'all the OGs here. Yeah, yeah, y'all the OGs. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you married. That's the car we play, Walt. You married too, Walt. You married too. You newly married. Back out of the way. Yo. I mean, cause we. I mean, I'm gonna tell you. I got. I. I listen, man. I as a young man. As a young man, I've had friends, female friends, that taught me a lot. They've been through, they've been through some rough times in my childhood. Even I was in college. They've been through some times, man. I, I've had some, I've had some tough times and they've been there. Even like for years. If you have somebody like that, are you are you letting them go? Like you cutting them off? What? What's 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 on your mind, my brother? You, you. I mean, so I don't have like lady friends that I've had before I met my wife that I would. Okay, so I probably would be comfortable seeing them one on one if I know that they didn't have anybody. Versus now, like, I probably will not meet up with a lady friend of mine just purely one-on-one -on -one just for the heck of it. Like, it's, like, I'm not, I'm probably not going to do something like that. But that, I'll say that because, I mean, I'm just very fortunate in my situation particularly because... I mean, I got older sisters and, you know, the lady friends that I had growing up, you know, it's all cool, it's all love, but 
It was never like that individual was my best friend or somebody who I. But it was like that. Like we, I really good friendships, but we still maintain from a distance. Like mm-hmm. you know, if I go hang out with you, I don't see why my life will not be in attendance or for a group setting. But one on one, like if there's not a clear objective, like I don't know what we do. Okay. But so let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. So, let's say, it's a, we, we ain't saying this neat. We ain't saying this hard, right? But let's say we just put somebody else there. Let's say, and, and you got another friend that you real real cool with them. You, I mean, you, like, y'all best friends, right? You bring the person, you introduce the person. Because at the end of the day, as a person, as a man, as a husband, you want to make sure that things are comfortable Mm-mm. right so you, br- you bring them you introduce them you know they might you, you might if you want on the phone you might throw them on the phone like yo you know you might put them on speaker just so they can make sure that we you know everything conversations are out in the open then she, she still says you know what hey I know it's your best friend and all but I don't like I don't feel comfortable I don't I don't I don't I don't like her right we cutting them off or we just we 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 trying to defend trying to defend that situation i mean if the situation that my significant other you know if if she feels that there are some valid reasons why then i'll of course we'll explore that like we'll have to see where she is. I, I didn't, like you said, this person is my girlfriend or is this my wife? Like, in this, this, this is, let's, let's just say this is your fiance. She, you in right, between. So we, we right in the middle. So, then, right. but, but I propose to this woman. So, I don't propose to this woman off of nothing. Like, I am comfortable with this woman being with me for the rest of my life. My, my okay. life. So, mm-hmm. if I, if she got a problem with something, Maybe she's seeing something that I'm not seeing or she's genuinely not comfortable. If it has something to do with something that she's dealt with in the past, that's mm-hmm. fine. As her husband, I do feel I should honor what she feels. Okay. And I should respect her in that manner. Now, in terms of my friendship, that means that there's probably, as far as transparency and other things there, I would just have to for real limit that. Like I said, like, as far as no, oh, no. there's no friendship though, because you remember, you, you so ain't got no friendship no more. Like you, you got to though, you got I, to I, because, I can't because be a with this person at all. Be, exactly, because remember, your wife says that she's uncomfortable, right? Meaning, yo, we can't call, we ain't texting. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't doing nothing. We got, I, I'm, I'm, I. I don't feel I don't feel comfortable with this with this going on here. And I, mean, I, I would have to hear the reason. If it's valid, it's valid. Okay. I would have to hear the reason. I would have to be like, all right, like what? Because I understand not going out. I understand right. that like not hanging mm-hmm. out one on one or having right. conversations in the middle of the night. Like I understand that, but to say mm-hmm. I can't have a friend that person that you know, invites me to an event for their birthday or for their kid's birthday or something like that. Or some or friend that I've had for a long time that, you know, if they want to meet my meet our daughter or something like that, that's a little different. But in respect, I respect your wishes. I would notify said friend. But in in the case I would be trying to figure out all right what exactly is the issue what what are the things that are triggering what are what about this is making you uncomfortable and then we move from there mm-hmm. but as my fiance like i'm respecting how you feel regardless i didn't make that decision off of nothing so mm. so chuck chuck you hear what's going on here right we got we got we got professor x professor x guys a has a has a has a fiance Right, Beyonce says, "Yo, 
you got a friend. I know y'all been friends for 15 years. I know y'all been close. You know what I'm saying y'all been y'all been ride or die. Um, you know, I, I get all that, but I feel uncomfortable. And to and to say, and she's and then like Walt says, okay, what's well, hey, what why why are you like this? And she says, I don't know. It makes me insecure, feel insecure. I'm insecure. You know, I I just I, I, I you know, I, I'm just feeling a little insecure about that. What what are your what are your what are you feeling about that? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. God, hey, it, 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 it ain't us. It's just perfect. It's a Professor X. It's Professor X. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't me. It ain't me. Right. Uh, it, ain't, it ain't you. It's Professor X. Or, or the person, the person that maybe that's watching us, you know, that might be dealing with something like that. Uh, yeah, that that is true. I think probably the biggest thing that comes to mind in that in that scenario is trying to determine where this insecurity is coming from. This I, I'm not gonna sit out here in front like I'm a goddamn dating coach or whatever, but mm. from my experience in life up to this point. How the insecurity is where it's one thing if if the if the person if the person has a dude has a fiance and he got a best friend and the fiance and if the, the, the fiance is like hey, the best friend just she cool you know what I'm saying but she ain't like it's going to say oh, no, 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 no. this your friend though no. remember this your this your friend though. No. It, hey, this is, so so listen. It, if if the if if the actual fiance that insecurity could be for two primary reasons. Either the fiance feels like all right, this best friend could be in the same I call it the same weight class as me, where this that that bridge somebody else may have either potential have crossed or could cross or um, I'll say that that's probably the the primary thing because if if the fiance feels like all right the best friend there is not a, a quote unquote energy or a a a static that comes with that where like okay the fiance is probably looking at the best friend like doing a profile on the on the best friend like all right they have maybe if the fiance like we may got similar qualities we may have a maybe a similar look whatever that could be then that person is probably in their back of the head like. Like, why haven't y'all entertained this further, potentially? So there's a lot of, like, scenarios that's probably going through a fiance's head where if it if the best friend is kind of like, it's probably bad to say, but if it's maybe a notch down in certain areas, then that may put that fiance at more at ease because, like, okay, that the dude might not breach certain boundaries or whatever because there might not be not any attraction of any sort but if the fiance of the dude feels like okay that this 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 best friend they she had maybe have shown you know symptoms and signs that they've been cool and it been no boundaries breach this at the third they've been locked in for 10 plus years so on and so forth but if that fiance sees the other best friend in the quote unquote the same weight class in the back of her head, she was like, I don't know. I don't know. So that eight, right? Eight, you think, is it, did she think it's a threat? 
could potentially a threat or she thinks like I don't, no matter what how many assurances the dude may present to his fiance that nothing has been done but in the back of her head she's like I don't know about that because that that you know saying we we ain't too far off so it, it could you know certain women think that way uh, there's a good amount of them think that way they they if they see another girl, because like they like they like most women, when they go and get dressed, or whatever, they ain't doing it for the dude, they're doing it for other women. <laughs> they this is a competition. <laughs> and so if they feel like this best friend is competitive in the same weight class, it can get sticky. Cause again, guess what the best friend probably has over the actual fiance? Time experience being in them trenches so that that's a different that's a different level to compete with than you just showed up in the last five years versus their relationship which is probably 10 plus years so it's and it's a lot more life has happened so it it, it can get dicey real quick so that that's the that that's the thing that that could definitely for I won't say majority of women, but a good amount of women that that could definitely be a thought or thoughts in the back of their head that could start to manifest if they don't check it and have that that introspective conversation and, and then have that conversation with the dude like hey. Hey, that's 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 gonna have to be a real gut check because if, if you don't nip that in the bud up front, it's just gonna keep lingering and lingering, lingering. So, uh, the so long story short, yeah, I think them insecurities it can get real, and um, so yeah, so if a dude, especially if the best friend, if, if the best friend is fine. <laughs> It, 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 it's it's gonna take a, a woman his fiance will have to be very very strong in her own right like she gonna have to be like mentally emotionally competent for that to work because she's not it's gonna get it's gonna go bad quick all real right. quick so so all right trim so look we so professor x Professor X, we already know. All right, so basically, Professor X is, is, is the, the wife. Find, we found out the wife is uh, fiance, brother, is insecure, right? Uh, she she and, and she doesn't like the fact that um, that you're with the best friend. Now it's your best friend, fifteen years plus, right? She happens to be a female, right? Um, we, like I said, we find out she's insecure and that she's a threat. The, the friend is a threat. That she feels that the friend is a threat. What What do you either? What do you What are you doing in this situation? Or, um, uh, what would you give somebody you know, advice if they are in this situation? What do you, What are you saying to them? Shoot. Um. Well, I, I live something similar to that with with my relationship with my wife. Uh, this is in the pre stages when we were dating, but it was a different scenario set up. And this is dealing with another female, but it wasn't my best friend. It was with with who my brother was dating at the time. So that caused, but it was this whole situation that caused some uh, some challenges and a rift there. So, um, my best advice would be to. Um, definitely take consideration of the person that you, who you're with your fiance or your girl or whoever that you're with take their their thoughts into consider and and uh, their feelings into consideration and uh, you gotta you gotta weigh them of where they're coming at from that from that standpoint um you gotta really analyze you know the stance with what your with your best with your uh significant other is feeling and where they're and you know where they're coming at and you gotta go you gotta you gotta uh 
you gotta do some heavy thinking, man, to see if it's if it's um, something that you can, you know, navigate and come to some kind of understanding and, and, and common ground with your significant other and how you treat that other person, or how you engage with them, or if if it's if it's something serious and dire, and if you feel that okay to respect the wishes of my significant other, I gotta cut this off. Then so be it. I mean, you got to see what you got to see exactly what you know what's going to be the best outcome for you. If if it's something that you're trying to deal with a significant other, and she they, she feels a certain kind of way against whatever, you got to weigh that and see if if you know what's what's the best what's the best course of action for you. You know, if it's something that you know that you can you and your significant other could talk about. And try to come to a common ground where like okay well you need to navigate i mean i need mean, where are you where do you why do you feel the way you feel is it something that's like really that you know threatening your you know just you feel uncomfortable about regardless like regardless how we how i'm how interacting with this person and if it's something that's that important to you you know you need to have that conversation to see like okay do i need to continue to keep this going on or not that's, you gotta you gotta really look at that but uh it, it can get it can get serious but definitely respect the wishes of the of the significant other if it's valid and if you're trying to build with them you know you gotta take that consideration if it's if it's to you if it's not that important and your relationship with the other person is important way more than the significant other and you don't feel that the other significant other is stuff is valid you gotta take that in consideration too you need to determine what you're trying to what feature you're trying to go with who you're trying to build with and you know step with caution mm. oh man i tell wait, you wait i got a question though professor x they got like are they in a wheelchair and got powers too <laughs> why, why, why that he, he better have some powers with this one you better ask some powers with this one. <laughs> but here, here, here is my here is my thing though, right? Because I know we present the scenario where it's like the fiance, but you ain't gonna get to that point without having some prior friction in general. Like usually at yeah. the very beginning, you'll 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 have a understanding like, oh, oh, my old lady don't like my best friend. What's up with that? Yeah, it, it's, it's usually some friction that goes with it. Yeah, usually some friction know. that goes with it, with mine, it. With mine, it was, it was some it was some history and friction that came that came with mine. So yeah, it's it's not gonna come out of nowhere. It's gonna be something what? where it was an incident that happened. Something what? somewhere. Some people don't like. Some people don't like to express. See, f- being being in a fiance position is 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 it's an interesting place because. It's not really real until they propose to you. Right? And then everybody had their own idea about what marriage is. And some people love somebody so much that they will put up with, with anything. But then when it starts to step to the to, to the to the level of marriage, mm-hmm. then it's like it's a little different. It's like, oh now this is real. Let me start analyzing this, what's going on. Oh, you know what? Man, I don't know. They I don't know, man. He might they 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 a little too close. I don't know if I want my husband to have a female friend. It's cool when we was boyfriend, you know, when y'all was, you know, just we was just boyfriend and girlfriend. But now that I'm a, I'm a, about to be your wife or your husband, I don't know if I want you with an opposite, you know, person with the opposite sex like that. You feel me? Like some people, some people, some people kind of we all. I think in certain situations we kind of hide things from our. We try to smile, like grin and bear it, you know. Say, hey, you know what? I deal with it. I don't know if this relationship is going to last. Then he proposes, she proposes. Like, oh, now this is real. All right, now it's time to do some cleaning up. Now it's time. Now it's time to clean some things and, up because. And my you know, bad. And in situations like that, they need to, if. The significant other, whether it be the, the female or the male, if they feel a certain kind of way when it happens, and if they see themselves as a possible future with that person that they're trying to build with, and they see something like that come up, they need to be honest on how they really feeling from the rip. 
if they don't if they feel a certain kind of way this is just my suggestion they need to make sure they have they need to be honest with with the people they're dealing with don't try to don't try to you know say okay i'm gonna bear it for a little bit but i really don't feel comfortable with it because when you don't express and communicate that stuff it it starts to fester so right. and then and then all of a sudden when you just say okay well i'm gonna bring this up now you're called you're done you're doing what you're doing right now now it's called flipping the script and that call that causes a whole bunch of other different situations and scenarios that that you're not gonna like it's gonna cause ripples in the water so if he has a problem from the rip from the jump be honest and address it say for what it is don't i mean if you're gonna get married or if you're gonna have a future with somebody you need to be stepping in complete honesty and if, if you don't like this you need to voice that and whatever happens from there so be it as long as you got it out there because if it's meant right. to be it's gonna be if not it's not but you got to be honest 100 percent because you don't want something that's gonna change the course of something where people thought that you were cool with something when you really wasn't because you said you said the whole foundation wrong from there and I, and i think that in this situation you know, I think that they are trying to be honest, right? They are trying to, because I think some, like I said, sometimes things don't get real until it gets real, right? It's like some people, some people, some people might be in situations where they don't feel like they've been in situations where they've been with people for like 10 years and never got married or never been proposed to, you know, and, but, and so in their mind, so you know what, we just dating, you know, who knows what's going to last. I ain't going to really, you know, trip on his, his friend like that because, we're not married like we're not married you know but you know some people now so now that they're at the point where you know we're about to get married all right this is what i want to talk to you about because i don't i'm not feeling this but you know, but i understand what you're saying though as well trim it's like you should have mentioned this a long time mm -hmm. ago right like it's like it's gonna, gonna it's gonna this. cause communicate it's gonna cause communication issues between the both between the two of you so right. why 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 put up the front if you don't like to move Potatoes on your on your on your on your salad or whatever on your or your on your wrap. Say right. that from the rip. Because you you, you know like you know in the beginning nope. in the beginning you don't like it you don't like your mate with a, another female friend anyway. Um, exactly. But you know you know for me I'm gonna say this man. I'm gonna be real. My so if a person if you out there and you're going through this I'm 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 with everybody I'm with Trim. It's like yo like try to decipher what you know um what's most important uh and, and what is you know what's real to you and and what's kind of weighed out you know because obviously if you care about somebody and you and you really you know really love them you want to be with them obviously you got to really listen to what they're saying you mm -hmm. know but I know for me personally, my friends mean the world to me, man. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. The ones who've been with me to through the mud. They not even fam. They not friends. They family. Like for real. That's how I, that's how I look at them. You know, every last one of them know who they are. So for me, they about to, to get married. They, the people that I'm with, they're going to have to take them. They're going to have to take them because I, I'm bringing you around them. I'm introducing you to them. I'm doing all of that, even, all through the relationship. So you can get comfortable with them. Like, get familiar with these people. I'm talking about male and female because these, this is my crew. These are the people, these are my day ones. These, and this group of people who fed me when I ain't had nothing to eat. And this group of people who, who, who gave me a place to be at when I, when I didn't want to be home. Right, like these people mean a lot to me. You gonna have to take them. That that's that's how much they mean to me. 
and, and, and that goes to the whole concept of like you got to decide what this is the package and we all might we all got insecurities we all got them but what I have a question with about these insecurities is where do I fit in these insecurities because it's not just this girl it's me too what do you think about me what kind of person you think I am Exactly. You see what I'm saying? All that what, stuff. Who do you think? Who do you think I am? I'm telling you, All was what that stuff comes to the question. Yeah. Right. Do you not trust me? You know what I'm saying? Like that. That. That's why I be at with. It's like, yo, you come on, man. Like, you got to trust me. I'm the one to put the ring on your finger. I'm the one that came with the with the proposal. You didn't propose to me. I'm telling oh, you. Here's this another is... thing. One quick thing. Oh, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Finish no, up. no, no. Go ahead. Yep. I would say this. Uh, one thing. If you feel if if anybody feels a certain kind of way about anything, if the if the, if the, if the spouse, if the, if the fiance feels a certain kind of way about you know the person that they're gonna be with, their character or whatever, and they have to have things in question, if the proposal comes up, don't take the ring. Right. Be real with yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. But I, I mean, like I said, I, I, I just feel like I gotta be thought about too in this scenario because that, I, you know, and this is just my personal opinion. Like, you know, a lot of times in these type of situations, you know, we got we all like a lot of situations we all we got to be the ones that say, you know what, I, right, I'm gonna be the bigger person or I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the sacrifice. Right, like you know, at some point somebody else gotta make a sacrifice too. Or some somebody else gotta make some type of like you know, life changing, you know what? I, I'm a, I'm a like I remember at one point in my like before, when I was dating Tay, I, I was I found out in the first year I was very insecure about myself. Very insecure about myself. I'll be the first to admit it, right? But throughout those years, I said, you know what? I got to get over this. I got to find a way to get past this. If I want to move on with anybody, anyone, I got to get past that part. So this is a battle between myself. I can't trust nobody if I'm insecure. You know what I mean? You know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be in your phone. You know what I'm saying? You know, doing what, trying to locate you, you out, you know, or looking through your text messages, all that is crazy stuff. So I got to get over that. I mean, I've never, I've never been that type of person, but then I, when I find somebody that I really care about now it's like, oh man, I think I am that type of person. I'm insecure. And I wasn't like getting, going to phones and stuff like that, but it can lead up to that if I don't take care of it. You know what I mean? So I I feel like if you're insecure about this, then I can never have nobody. I guess I, I guess in this marriage, I can never have anybody that's I'm friends with of the opposite sex. If you can't, if you can't take, if you can't take the the ride or die, that's the friend, then you ain't gonna never have no female friend ever. Is that even is that is that logical? I'm asking y'all. Is, is that is that a, is that a it, is nope. that a, a, a thing that you like? If that's a logical thing to ask for anybody, not to have any friends of the opposite sex, it's not because I, I, I feel that what you want them to be locked up with you for forever and not have any type of outlet, or anything that's not real logical. So. <laughs> That's 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 gonna cause some problems too because they can't have a life beyond that relationship. That's that's not realistic. What what you think? Is that logical? You what you muted. Sorry, sorry, I tend to be you good. But um you good? Um I don't I mean I don't think it's I just don't think it's fair. Right, at the end of the day, um, I mean, 
I mean, I believe that we really should be your best friend. That's the person you're waking up to. Right. Every day. That's the person who see your best and your ugly. So that's that's the person who should be. And then after that, like you do gotta have friends. Like one thing um, I know, I know this um, about me and my wife. Like I grew up in. Uh, house with a lot of siblings. I have a lot of siblings. And I do consider my siblings like my real good friends and we actually get along with them. So it's just, you know, she she has siblings but she didn't grow up in a house full of them. Mm. So her friends are real close to her. So that and I respect them. So mm. you gotta I, I try to make sure that I look at this fairly because before I used to be like, nah, like, what, what for? But the older I've gotten, the more I realize how blessed I am to have mm. siblings that are like I'm more cool with. Yeah. Is, you know, having a whole lot of friends. Of course, I got my boys, I got my, I got my bros, and I got y'all, but, you know. <laughs> And I have like other um, women friends too. So females get, I mean, women get triggered off the word female. But, um, oh, do they? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, um, but I can see that. Far, I can see where I can. Yeah, yeah. But as far as like women go, um, and just the opposite sex, period, like, or whoever you're with, you, you gotta let them have some friends. Of course, like, I just believe, of course, boundaries and, you know, certain things don't have to be said and what should be understood and should be understood as far as like making sure everybody's protected. But as far as like them being like claiming to be your friend, like for sure, like that's just a part of life. Like that's just, you know, you, know, like, you got to let them have a friend. Like if it, like I said, certain lines and certain boundaries should be drawn. And then that's, that's what I'm saying. And, see, and, and and that's why I say they come in with me, right? Because see, I'm the opposite of you, Walt. I I'm a, I'm the oldest, and I have two brothers. Always wanted a sister. I've always wanted a sister. So any woman that's in my life, I look at them as sisters. So for you to tell me to, and I, and I, I mean, in my mind, they're my blood sisters. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Like I know they're not my blood sisters, but in my mind, I treat them like that. So if we come in 15 years in, and I've treated her like that, you telling me I got to cut her off? That's not happening. That's not happening. If you love me, you will work through them insecurities. If you love me, <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, like, come on, like that, that, that's the least you that you can you can do that. I'll work with you together. We, we whatever, what, what do you need for me to make this make this more comfortable for you? Because I cannot do that. <laughs> you know I mean, like that's that's to me that's like that's not even a negotiable. Like we we can we can we can make this work. Well, relationship is work. a two way street. It's a two way street. Right. It's a, always a two way street. Never, it, one should not, one in a relationship, one person should not overcompensate for the other and not get any type of compensation on their end for anything. It, it will not work because you're going to, what's going to cause, what's going to cause the resentment and, and being miserable. So it's a two way street. If you don't, if you, if you think otherwise, See how see how quickly that relationship starts to have issues, right? But I mean, so, yeah, I, like, street. all my female friends know Tay. They 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 love Carrington. They love my daughters. You know what I mean, like they, you know that. But I, I I this is the way I set it up, and that's the other thing too. Like you gotta, if, if you feel that way about your your that opposite person, you gotta you gotta be the man about it. You gotta navigate the whole situation because if you let if you just let it go, and you just let it be, and you ain't really trying to orchestrate it to where it can work, 
what I'm saying? It's gonna be mess. This is mm-hmm. gonna be mess. Real quick. Real quick. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Chuck, you got anything to say with us before we get up out of here? Man, I, I, just, I ain't trying to get you in trouble, so I'm just saying I ain't trying to get you in trouble. No. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I think the thing is, um, yeah, y'all all bring out some good points. Uh, I think for me, it's just that, you know, you know, it's kind of like two things that consistently ringing through my head. Like, usually, again, like, for, for relationships, there's a, I mean, you can kind of masquerade a lot up front, but over time, you know, stuff starts to, you know, appear. But two things you really can't hide. You can't hide kids, and you can't hide best friends. So, dumb interactions is going to start uh, accumulating. And then, and especially if you're, you know, saying as a dude, and you, okay, you're dating this, this young lady, and you kind of in your head have an idea. Usually, within the first few months, you're going to be like, all right, you start putting, you start, you go, you're going to either put them in box A. Which is going to be long term marriage potential or box B, and just other. <laughs> and just whenever that whenever that role ends, it just ends. So if you're in box A, you're going to be like, all right, I can see, a, I'm seeing where this is going. So then you're like, all right, well, then you're going to have to have these, these you know, I don't say uncomfortable conversations, but you're going to have to have a real conversation. Like, hey, you know, say you start having these gatherings and, 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 and whatever. You're like, hey, what you, you know, what you think of the, of the crew I got? You start asking questions. Start, start building, you know, can getting your profile together. So you're going to be like, all right, well, I like this person, this person right here. And then you also have to set ground rules and boundaries, uh, et cetera. So that, you know, you're getting your, the person you're with understands what that looks like. But if, if the person that you're technically want to be with long term, even within the construct of the boundary, still having issues, then then you might take a step back and be like, "All right, what is really going on?" Because that that can bleed into other areas. So so yeah, that that's that's the that is always you know. It's, it can get dicey, but um, but yeah, it is <laughs> like I said before. It, listen, it regardless of the boundaries, uh, women are are women at the end of the day, and, and mm-hmm. again, it, and, and they in this and women of good amount of women see other women as competition, and and again, if they're and hey, the fiance, men the same way though. Men and that's true. That's I, true. I, I ain't, I ain't, true. I ain't very true. So if 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 this fiance feels like your best friend is in the same weight class, <laughs> then it it could it in the back of her head she's trying to kind of she's trying to decipher like even though. During the experience between y'all two, there hasn't been any boundaries crossed, but she she don't know what has happened prior Man. to her getting there. You know so what you gotta that's do. What, you know what you gotta do, bro. Chuck. You gotta look look her in her eye, be like, "Hey, you locked in." I know you're gonna say that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, that's yeah. Hey, that's what we gotta, gotta do, dog. Gotta look in the eye, make sure she locked in, man. That's yeah, all, so it, it, but but yeah, it, it it's this yeah, it can it it can get it can get weird, but but usually like the I would say look from the observations I've seen in my own POV and just really more so outside of my like through others the the 
even if they quote unquote in the same weight class, but the best friend is probably gonna if the best friend is you know solid, et cetera, et cetera, then usually, you know, they gonna present like have a presentation and energy where it just kind of like it, it's not gonna be an issue. And then of course that puts the ball back in the fiance's court, like hey. We don't check all the the, the boxes, dog. <laughs> like whatever you whatever you fight in your own head, then that that's that's something you want. We will we can I can try to help you on, but at, at some point you want to you want to figure that out because hey, that listen, just think responsibly. Hey. Think responsibly. Hey, the core room. Hey, if you break up with somebody, core room ain't got nothing to do with that, man. You know, this is this is just we just talking out loud, bro. This is uh, we just giving advice. You know, saying we just humans out here. You know, saying living this thing called life, man. No, hey, we're not. We're this is a disclaimer. What I tell you, Chuck, Chuck, what I tell you all the time. Hey, don't be like me, my brother. Don't be like me, because you know I don't. (laughs) A lot of times I don't care about stuff, man. You know what I mean? Like I stand on business. And I and I All stand the top. on what I stand on. You know what that's, I mean? that's like, a fact. Hey, everybody, everybody ain't gonna do, ain't gonna, be, ain't gonna be to take that. So pause. Hey. But ain't you know <laughs> saying? But yeah, that that is yeah. It's the two things Tino always tell me. Tell me that. He's like, hey, use your resources, fam. Like, hey, right. use, use your resources. Use your, use your resources. <laughs> that that oh. and that's why I got so many sisters around me. You know why? I use my resources. The, that's a fact. The, the ring. The ring I purchased, for Tay, I use my resources. I mean, everything I've done for Tay, I've used my resources. She's like, oh, that's so nice. I use my resources. You know what I mean? Nice. That's all I'm saying. Man. Hey. Phone a friend. Phone a friend is, is always I an phone, option. I, phone a friend. Hey. Right. Phone. And then, you know what's crazy? Some of the stuff, it's like, you know what? I wonder I wonder what my sisters would do. And I'll I, and I'll be like, yo, I right, they might do this, they might tell me this. And it's right now, it's just like, yo, I, I I get so much information and so much knowledge from them. It just, you know, it just works for me, man. You know. Hey, I'm just saying, man. Shout out, shout out to all my sisters. Y'all know who y'all are. All it's a lot of them. <laughs> I got a lot of them. I got a lot of sisters. So, but you know. My wife, my wife has benefited from my sisters a lot, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of conversations. They talk me off the ledge a lot of times, a oh. lot of times, a lot of times. That's why the long conversations. They kind of bring me back down to my, you know what I'm saying? Kind of bring me back down to where I, where I'm supposed to be at, you know, level headed. So you know, women is balanced, man. Women, is, women, women balanced men now. But shout out to shout out to y'all, man, who listening. Deep in the rap, graffiti, break dancing, DJ and B-boy stance, MCing, I harness those artifacts, collecting data, other transitions like an almanac. Hip hop ain't dead, these young boys different, adapting. Over time, every day the world's spinning. Let's celebrate the fact we still winning, we global. Kids from the project became moguls. Real to real track, boys to pro tools, finals, cassettes, and the tape decks, CDs. Now you can stream your music to the consumer direct and get most of the check. I'm no. And with that, I gotta respect that you ain't gotta accept that you can ride and get left, yo. Bars beyond ground level.